Bonjour et merci d'être uh, Good afternoon and thank you for attending uh, Monaco's uh, press conference. So we have Mr. Uh, Jardim and uh, the player Fabinho. We'll start with questions. Um, first of all, for the player Fabinho, please. So questions for Fabinho, please. So, what's the mood um, within the camp then, um, given um, the pretty poor uh, performance against Bastia? Has it been easy to move straight on to the next game? Well, of course, yeah, we've put it um, behind us already. And, um, you know, you know, I think, um, you know, what we're doing, the, the game um, tomorrow is going to be completely different from um, playing in the French uh, league. And um, we focused now very much on our opponents tomorrow and we'll be focused to do our best tomorrow. I, um, now, given what you saw Paris Saint-Germain do to Barcelona last week, do you think that now you know you, have, you shouldn't have any sense of um, inferiority um, playing um, City and can you draw inspiration from PSG's performance? Well, it was different, I think. It was different though, wasn't it? Um, you know, it's going to be different playing Manchester City. Um, I think, um, OK. Perhaps um, big teams are going to be a little bit more careful now um, after what PSG did last week um, and not give the opposition so much space. But we'll play our game. Um, we have a different style to PSG and um, our idea is to go out there and make sure we get a good result tomorrow. Pep Guardiola during his press conference earlier um, sung um, Monaco's appraisers. Um, he said a lot of good things about the team, about the players. Um, he went through. He talked about your your tactics, uh, and how you play, and um, you know it was almost as if um, he was saying that uh, Monaco is the favourite for this uh, tie. Well, I wouldn't say we're the um, favourite. Um, I can imagine why he'd like to convey that kind of a message. Um, but um, you know we've seen what um, City are capable of as well. Of course, we've seen their qualities. They're a very good team. It won't be easy. Um, um, far from it. It's not easy to stop them. But um, I think, you know, with our strength and our qualities, then uh, we certainly will be um, looking to put on a good performance tomorrow. Good evening. Uh, recently, on a documentary programme on Canal Plus, um, um, I think you said that you like Manchester City. You said it's a team that you really like. Is it the kind of team and club you're attracted by? Well, actually, it was my dad who said that during the programme. And... Um, and um, he talked about clubs that, um, you know, um, I might have been interested in in the uh, past. It's not something which is topical. It's not something which um, um, I think about too much at the moment. Um, you know, I'm very much focused on um, Monaco and, um, uh, you know, we're focused 100% on um, tomorrow's game. Uh, Fabino, can you tell us, um, you know, what the keys to the game, what's the key to tomorrow's game to make sure that Monaco gets a good result? Um, oh, I'm sorry, I can't pass on that information, can I now? Can I tell everyone? Well, I think what I can say really is that, um, you know, obviously we've analysed our opposition. Um, I think we're in good shape physically, even though, you know, we did do a lot of running against Bastia, but we're in good shape. And um, I think that, you know, we're going to try to um, do our utmost um, in our own way to try and win the game. Final question for Fabinho, please. Hi. Um, and um, we all, um, Kevin De Bruyne said, well, who was asked who is Mbappe? And um, Kevin De Bruyne said, well, sorry, I don't really know him. Uh, you do know him. I mean, to what extent is it true to say, uh, uh, even at this stage, that he's, um, he's a phenomenal? Well, absolutely. He's someone who, you know, he's full of surprises for us as well. Um, you know, obviously, we see him um, on the training pitch each and every day. And you can see that, you know, he's got amazing ability. He's got something which really makes him stand out from everyone else. So even during training, you can see that, you know, he's... You know, he's a great player. He's an important player for us, an important player for the team. But he can become even more uh, important and a bigger player. He's going to learn a lot. He's going to progress, uh, make progress. Because after all, he's only still a young guy, a, a young player. And he's going to be a, um, a really, really good player. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Fabinho. Um, okay, I understand you don't want to reveal what the keys to the game tomorrow are going to be for Monaco, but nevertheless, um, you know, the best that you've got the best attack in Europe. Um, you score loads of goals, a hatful of goals, keep scoring a hatful of goals in them. Um, uh, can you um, repeat that performance in the last 16 here um, in Manchester tomorrow? Can you afford to be so attacking tomorrow? Well, I mean, you know, we're here to win, of course. Um, 
and um, you know, obviously we might alter slightly the way in which um, we play according to the opponents. We know that our opponents are really good on the attack as well. Um, you know, um, they spend a lot of time um, in the opposition's um, penalty area, so we're going to have to keep a very close eye on them from that point of view, no doubt. But nevertheless, um, you know, we'll be playing our way as well, and we'll be going out there to get a good result. Well, before asking any questions, I'd just like to know whether all the players who are with you here today in Manchester, are they available for selecting? I'm talking about Bakayoko, um, uh, any um, players who are perhaps at risk of not um, being able to play tomorrow? Well, yeah, in theory, everyone's ready. Everyone's ready to play. It's okay. Okay. One, two. Okay. Well, the same question we asked Fabinho a little bit earlier. Pep Guardiola, I mean, he really did sing um, Monaco's praises. He talked about the team and the way in which it plays and the principles of its play and um, about you as well. Do you think that might be one way of actually putting pressure on you as a team? Well, I think you know me well, after all. I'm a realist, after all. And I think that, um, you know, I mean, you know, you can compare the teams if, if you want. Um, um, both teams like to have possession. Both teams have um, a lot of um, technically gifted players. Um, the two um, sets of backroom staff uh, work really hard, work well together. Um, but, there are, you know, there are also um, some things you can't compare. Um, it's not, not, um, you know, you can't compare, you know, the transfer market, the value of the team and their act activities in the, uh, on the transfer market. Um, but, you know, we have um, some high quality players, absolutely, of course. Um, but, um, you know, um, you know, basically, it's all about winning the winning over the course Leonardo. of the two games, winning the, the time. The games. Hello. Um, well, que pour what vous about Pep Guardiola? Guardiola? You know, what son, does he represent for you in terms of his um, façon de jouer past as a coach, um, um, all le the titles he's won? Um, que pour what, vous do you, you know, what does Pep Guardiola represent for you? Well, you know, he's a colleague, isn't he? You know, um, we both do the same job. Um, he's an excellent coach. Uh, coach who's um, been successful at three, main, three big, big clubs. Um, yeah. But it's uh, difficult for me to talk about um, other coaches. I don't necessarily know them particularly well. Um, because, um, you know, um, you know, in re I don't really know them that well, or in, you know, it's difficult for me to talk about them. Where do you consider Kylian Mbappe's best position? Where is the best position for Mbappe? And how long will he stay with you, in your life? Where do you consider Kylian Mbappe's best position for Mbappe? And how long will he stay with you, in your life? And how long will he stay with you, in your life? And how long will he stay with you, in your life?
Kylian is a young player, uh, uh, young guy dernière, after all, he's a very young player, and I think that um, you know, what j'ai fait monter. Um, he played in the under 19s last year. I brought him into the first team squad. Um, he signed a professional contract, contract as a professional. Um, he's making a lot of progress this year. We're very happy uh, with his progress thus far, but we think he's still got a long way to go, of course. Now, of course, um, he can play up front, you know, anywhere across the front three, to be honest with you. And um, But he's not just an attacker, he can play um, um, a bit uh, withdrawn in a withdrawn position as well. And um, I think he's a player who's got a huge future. Coach, uh, Jemerson um, est, est suspendu. Jemerson is suspended. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire so, um, deux mots sur Andrea Raggi, qui a très peu joué cette saison? Can you tell us a little bit about Raggi, uh, who hasn't really played that much um, this soldat, quoi, uh, year, but he's kind of like uh, you're the soldier that you go to, who you have a lot of trust and faith in non, for these kind of matches. Chose, si well, first and foremost, I don't even know if Raggi is going to play uh, tomorrow. Deuxième, and then secondly, uh, 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 Raji is uh, an important player for the uh, uh, club. I mean, very versatile, gives us lots of um, options. He's, uh, you can always count on him, um, but you know, by the same token, um, Glick, uh, Glick uh, will definitely play, um, but that Touré, Diallo, Raji are all people who could play um, in defence. Coach, um, yeah, another question, please, um, for the coach. Le, um, de now, these jeu, principles of the game, prin uh, the uh, uh, principles of play, um, the way in which you play in Champions League, um, very much attacking, um, um, top scorers in, uh, across Europe. And is that the kind of tactic you can deploy tomorrow as well? Well, I always try to um, get over a very important um, message um, to my players. It doesn't matter who you're playing against. It doesn't matter who you're playing against. PSG, Spurs, whoever. It's in our DNA to play in the way in which we play. And our team isn't going to change just because we're playing a given um, opponent. I mean, and, um, yeah, and the same thing applies in Europe as well. As far as we're concerned, you know, this is what, our 11th game. We played four um, qualifiers, six in the group stage. You know, um, and we've always played in the same way as far as I'm concerned. Okay, the results haven't always been the same, but I mean, you know, what, that's, that's just what happens. Hello, Mr. I'm going to ask you in Portuguese. Eu queria te perguntar como, é, quais são as suas primeiras impressões sobre o Jorge, que chegou recentemente, o que, que você vê de bom nele, e como é que você avalia esse futuro próximo que ele vai ter é, dentro do Mônaco, e também queria te perguntar se, se já, já existe uma, uma programação para que ele possa estrear, quando que vocês estão imaginando que o Jorge estreie? O Jorge foi um jogador que compramos para nestes cinco meses se adaptar ao clube, não te posso dizer quando é que se vai estrear, já começou a jogar na equipa B para ganhar algum ritmo e perceber um pouco a forma de jogar aqui na Europa, um pouco o que aconteceu ao Gemerson no ano passado e com certeza quando ele estiver em condições vai ser uma alternativa, mas neste momento o Mendy também é um jogador de grande qualidade e está a jogar bem. Donc nous avons recruté Jemerson well, pour qu'il puisse bénéficier de une période d'adaptation. First of all, we brought him. No, it wasn't George. George the player called George. We brought in from Brazil. Je ne peux pas donner de date pour sa première. You know, I can't tell you when he's going to make his debut in the first team. It's a bit early. He's playing with the B team at the moment, reserves. So he can get up to speed with the European football. It's what we did with Jemerson last year. In fact, we're doing exactly the same thing. So I think that you know, when he's ready to play for us, he's going to be a great player. But for the time being, that isn't the case. And uh, Mendy, um, in the meantime, is having a great season as well. Hello, this is the second time in three years that you've reached the last 16 um, in the Champions League. And um, from a personal point of view, um, you must be really happy with that as well, no? I would imagine, you know, to be um, playing very consistently at the top level in the Champions League. Well, of course, of course, of course. Um, you know, um, this is our third year then, um, we played the um, last 16, two of the three years, and so um, that's really important, of course, because um, you're all well aware of our um, uh, project, of course, and, um, you know, we, 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 we've had lots of um, players come in, players go out, and yet we're still here, we're still 
you know, getting to this stage of the Champions League because we all work really hard. All of my backroom staff, myself, um, despite all of the changes um, that, uh, that have happened, we have worked very hard to maintain our place at the top level. And the team, um, well, well, there's probably what. Well, a couple of um, players yeah. left from uh, when we played ça, Arsenal three years ago. But, you know, that's what it's all about, bringing new players on, young players through. And that's part of our project as well as a club. Radamel Falcao, when he was here at Manchester, he did not shine very much. Is he going to talk to you about that when he was at Manchester or Chelsea? Is he going to serve to motivate him so that he can demonstrate to the players what he is capable of? Eu, eu conheço o Falcão antes de. Eu conheço o Falcão well, avant de vir para a Inglaterra, para a Portugal. Um, Portugal. England, he played for Porto in um, Portugal, uh, so I, I, I knew him then. He's always been a great player, a great goal scorer, and uh, it's really easy to work with a player like him. And, um, you know, we've been doing some, um, some really specific work with him this year. Um, to he hasn't really played that much over the last two years, so to get him back on form to his goal scoring ways, and we've done a lot of hard work with him. Now he certainly is in form, and um, you know, we're really happy with him. And he's a really important player for um, not only for the club but for the team. Um, just basically. Uh, plus ou moins la, la, la même question qu'on a posée à Fabinho, parce qu'on a vu aussi votre nom, euh, parfois on parle de vous éventuellement, que vous allez venir ici en, en Angleterre, euh, entraîner en Premier League, est-ce que ça peut vous intéresser peut-être à l'avenir Je pense que well, I, I think that um, all um, managers, coaches, um, you know, all players want to play uh, and uh, coach at the highest possible level, of course. And um, today, um, the uh, Premier League is um, you know, perhaps um, the um, biggest um, um, uh, national league in Europe. And I think everyone would like to have the opportunity to um, coach um, here one day or play here one day. But, you know, as um, Fabinho said, you know, at the moment, we're at Monaco, we have our project, we're a big club ourselves in our own right, and um, you know, we have a future to forge at this club, I think, and um, you know, have a lot of respect um, for the club, and um, you know, so that's why I'm giving my whole, you know, to, you know 200% to um, Monaco. Now, we asked Fabinho about, you know, what are the keys to the game, tomorrow's game. He, you know, felt a bit uneasy, he didn't want to say anything. Is that because you're reserving some surprises for us tomorrow, is that why? No, 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 that's just, um, for, that's just Fabinho. Fabinho's a great player. A great, great player. He's um, um, you know, when you think where he's, the progress he's made over the last um, three years, you know, he's one of the top players in his position in Europe. And, and I'm not even surprised by that because he's a fantastic player. And you know, he knows that he's not going to start uh, telling you all tonight about um, the stuff we've been working on for tomorrow night's uh, uh, game. And, um, you know, but we're going to try to do what we've done in the previous Champions League games. We have a lot of respect for our opponents, but um, we know all about their quality, and um, we know where the, uh, our opposition is um, um, strong in transition. Um, they have um, five forwards at some stages of the game when they all um, pull forward. Um, Defensively, um, they're good as well, um, and we need to, you know, create difficulties for the opposition for the opposition as well. Put them under pressure. Um, you know, we've already looked at um, how um, they've, um, you know, conceded goals over the last six or seven games, and you know, we have been analysing that. Question. Okay, last question, Bonsoir. please. Well, you normally have um, two strikers, and um, either Germain or Mbappe probably play with Falcao tomorrow. Can you tell us to what extent um, Falcao and Valer Germain are? Um, complimentary how they play off one another well I think that um, the three of them really are you know, top class strikers Falcao um, you know he's like the spearhead of the team if you like he leads the team and then you have someone who plays just behind him the second striker position as it were um, Valer, uh, well, the two of them, um, you know, could, um, um, one, one will start tomorrow and the other will probably be on the bench or, and, you know, whatever way it goes, um, they will help the team out. The two you're talking about, though, are a little bit different um, to one another. 
um, rapide, um, bonds plus, a bit um, Kylian, um, forte, Mbappé is um, a bit faster, a bit stronger, um, Valère is better at um, piecing the game together, as it were, and um, particularly um, on the edge of the opposition is um, a penalty area. But yeah, I mean, both of the players are really, really good players, obviously. Thank you very much. L'entraînement euh, commence à 18h et les 15 premières minutes sont, sont vers 6 o'clock training, first 15 minutes are open. Thank you.